hello there. This is just a little quick one that I wanted to show you an ear massage. Uh, so your ear is considered your whole body uh, in Chinese medicine. It's called a microsystem. Um, and with it, you can basically give yourself a, a lazy full body massage. So the just to describe the map, so this is the general gist of how the ear is seen. Um, so if you imagine it like an inverted fetus, so this is the head. And then we go up into the spine and then the legs are all curled up in here, as you know, and the arms are just in there. And then all your internal organs, etc., are in there. OK, so by massaging this, you're essentially massaging your entire body. And you can do this as often or as little as you like. I tend to do it when I'm feeling quite stressed. Actually, I'll do little bits of it here, there and everywhere uh, just to keep me calm and cool and relaxed and feeling fabulous. Um, and you can do it anywhere. You don't need any special equipment. You don't need any oil, nothing. Um, so. What I tend, so I do tend to do it both ears at the same time. I'm just going to demonstrate on this one. So the first thing you want to do is almost rub round. So start down at the head, taking some nice slow deep breaths. Calm that down while you're at it. And then you're just doing circular movements, almost like you're pinching. And this is quite easy on the fleshy parts. It's not so easy. I'm hoping you can see. I'm just checking. You can. You can. So just thumb and um, index finger. And going round in a little circular movement. And I would repeat this three times, just nice, the pressure that feels good for you, coming round the ear. And as I said, I would do both at the same time. If there's any areas, interestingly, you can sometimes pick up little areas that feel a little bit tender, spend a little bit longer on them. There's also, you can't, I don't know if you're going to see it in the light, but you know, you get this little bit that sinks in at the top of the ear. In here, there's a gorgeous point called Shen Men, which is, translates as the spirit gate. So it connects you to your spirit, to your soul. It also allows you to just, it's a really good calming point. And anytime I do any auricular acupuncture, this point's always included. Um, so just coming round, don't forget this wee tiny bit at the front here when you're coming round. And as I said, I would repeat this three times. You can do it one year at a time, or you can do the two together, whatever's easier for you. And then when you come into the middle, you can't squeeze, so just use your a finger or your thumb and just press it, basically, little circular movements, basically pushing it into your skull, into your head. And get all the wee areas. Not going inside your ear at any point, as they say, nothing smaller than your elbow should go inside your ear. Just doing these, coming round. I tend to do the outside first and then do this little inside bit after that, if that makes sense. And the tragus as well, don't forget that. So all I'm doing with this one is just pushing it in and giving it a little rub. Now this one you might think is a bit mental, and I certainly did. Um, but pull. So pulling it down and you'll actually feel the muscles around the sort of top end of the head or above the ear really getting a wee stretch. Pulling it back. And this helps to release all this area as well. And then up as well, which is my personal favourite because it helps this bottom bit as well. It just helps to stretch the muscles out a little bit. Pulling it at your comfort level. Don't get daft with it. You're not trying to remove your ear. You're just giving it a stretch. So again, I'm just pinching. But instead of circular movements, I'm just pulling. So pulling it down, pulling it out. Almost like you're just trying to stretch the whole thing out. So you can do it. One two, three, but I tend to do the whole thing. Again, I tend to do this three or four times. And if an area is sore, what I also quite often do is grab it and then pull it in a circular motion. So you're stretching it and doing a circle with it as well. So this is stage three. So number one is the little circular movements. Number two is the pulling. And then number three, a pull and a rotate as well, so you can see my whole ear moving around. And then, whoop, with your two fingers open, <laughs> try not to be offensive, Paula, uh, with your two fingers open, so then, and you're squeezing in, so you're squeezing into the back, so this finger is right against the back of the ear, and giving it a squeeze, and then running up and down. In massage terms, this is called scissoring. It means other things in other contexts, but for the purposes of now, it's scissoring. And 
And again, do this as often as feels good for you. I usually do three or four. And then sometimes with a squeeze, I'll just basically move my whole ear around. That's how it would finish. And then a nice, actually that's not how it would finish at all. Um, giving it that little circular motion. And then to finish almost, just cup in the ear. So just cup in both ears when you're finished. And a few nice slow deep breaths. You're just blocking out the sounds of the world a little bit. The sounds of the world. <sighs> so, particular stress points at this top area here. So if you're aware that you're feeling quite anxious, stressed, worried, concerned, upset, anything, any of those emotions that you're feeling, this is a good way to just calm them down. Is this top point in here and your finger is so much bigger than a needle that you're never going to miss that point trust me uh, there's a lot of acupuncture points in the ear i will get an image for you actually to give you an idea um i hope you find that very useful and i will see you again soon bye for now